So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do the jumping and motion matching. So in my previous video, we took a look at motion matching and we basically made the walk and run animations, right? So I got a lot of comments on that video and uh, I didn't implement the jump in that video. So in this video, we're going to implement the jump. So let's get started with this. Okay, so firstly, you will need the jumping animations and we are going to take those animations from the advanced locomotion system. So this is a pretty good system. It contains a lot of different animations and stuff. So you can create a project. We're going to migrate these animations to our motion matching project. So this is what we made in the previous video. And if you didn't watch that video, I'll leave a link to that in the description. Now let's start working on the jumping. I'm going to create a new folder here. And I'm going to put my migrated animations in this folder. So these are our migrated animations and we are going to use these five animation clips. You can delete rest of these animations. We will not be using those. Now you can also get the skeleton and move it in the same folder just for easy access. Now we will also need to retarget these animations to our Unreal Engine mannequin. So just select these retarget animations. This is going to open the retargeter. Specify your target skeleton. And you can click to preview the retargeted animation. So retargeting is pretty much one click now. So now we are going to select all these animations that we want to retarget and export animations. I'm going to save them in the same folder. Our animations have been retargeted. Now let's create a post search database. This database is going to be used for the jumping. So now we are going to add the jumping animations in this database. And as you can see, these animations are not using root motion. So just select these and bulk edit them. In the bulk editor, you can press Ctrl A to select all these animation clips. In the details panel, you can just search for root motion, enable root motion, enable force root lock as well. Back in the database, you can click to preview our animations. This is looking good. Now let's open the animation blueprint and right here we have the update event and we are just setting the trajectory here and right here we have the walk and run database. So in the animation blueprint, I'm going to get a reference to my third person character. Then you can just search for is falling and we need access to the is falling property mentioned in the character movement component. I'm going to promote this to a variable. So right here, I'm going to duplicate the database, set that to the jump database. So now the idea here is to switch between these two databases using our variable. So to do that, we are going to add a node called the blend poses by bool. And this basically switches between like two animation poses. And we are going to connect our variable there. So if the player is falling, we are going to play the jumping animations. And if the player is not falling, we are going to play the walking and the running animations. So it's going to switch between these two databases. And this is all that you need to do for the jumping thing. Let's test this out. And as you can see, 
this is looking pretty good working well so if you have more animations this is going to look even better and if you have like specific animations it's going to look even better right so that is one perk of motion matching so yeah this is what i wanted to show you guys and uh, if you like this video leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this that's it guys i'm going to see you in the next video